Hey there! Long time no see, I know. Um, we moved. I'm in a new space. Pink walls, right? It's so on brand, isn't it? Um, anyway, I made a video about soft gamine versus flamboyant gamine, and I think I caused some confusion, slash was not specific enough with clothing recommendations or outfit ideas and things like that, which I thought about it and I was like, you know, I think I can do better than this. I think I can give you guys something um, that would serve you a little bit better. So I went back to my old format and I went to Target <laughs> and I tried on some clothes that I would personally never choose as a flamboyant gamine. Um, because they are so much more yin-leaning than what I would normally like to wear. Now, if you're a flamboyant gamine and you're watching this video and you like some of the ways that the pieces look on me and you want to recreate outfits that look like that, do it. But just for me personally, it's really... I didn't feel super comfortable in any of these looks, particularly just because of how yin leaning they were and how they kind of lacked some of the um, extra yang oomph that I personally need for my frame. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this. Let's go to the store. Take it away, Target Fran. Hello, friends. How's it going? It's been a minute since I've been with you. I am actually going into Target right now for some errands that I'm running, but then I thought, you know what? I feel like I didn't do my soft gamine video the justice that it deserved, and so I'm gonna do a few try-ons, building some gamine outfits, some soft gamine outfits particularly, because I just don't own pieces that are like soft gamine specific. And also, this was inspired by some of the comments that were left in my, uh, what's the difference? I don't think it's that one. Comments that were left in my soft gamine versus flamboyant gamine video. And so if you left a comment down there with some of the things that you wear as a soft gamine, I'm going to be taking inspiration from you. So thank you so much for helping me out and giving me some ideas for some very specific soft gamine outfits. Basically, I had said in the video that 80% of the time, soft gamines and flamboyant gamines can wear very similar things. But you guys asked, you know, what about the 20% then? What what are the exact things that soft gamines can wear that flamboyant gamines really would look separate in? And it would be disharmonious for flamboyant gamines, but perfect for a soft gamine frame. That's what I'm going to show you today if I can find something in Target for you. So let's do it. Here we go. Let's look at this first dress. I have my computer down here so I can speak accurately about each clothing item because I did go shoot this video a little bit ago. I just wanted to say for anybody who's new here, like, hello, <laughs> I'm Franny and I create a lot of videos about personal style and mental health and how those two things overlap, particularly around relationship to our bodies and the way we perceive our bodies. And hopefully by hanging out in this space, I can encourage you all to really dig into some of those body image narratives that keep you feeling small or held back or that stop you from expressing yourself in your wholeness and your fullness, as well as just nurturing the relationship that you have with your body and um, learning to love it just a little bit more and all those sorts of things. So if you are new here, I'm glad you're here. Thank you. And if you are old here, <laughs> I missed you. I missed you. I hope you're doing so, so well and happy fall in the Northern Hemisphere. Okay, back to the video. Now let's talk about this first dress. So I picked out this dress for certain qualities. Um, a lot of you all recommended kind of like fit and flare sort of situations for soft gamine. Like a lot of you actual real life soft gamines talked to me in the comments of that last video about things that you actually really love to wear. 
this first dress I picked for a few reasons. The first thing that caught my eye was this pattern that's on it, and I think I can do a little close-up for you. Um, it's a small, delicate floral pattern, which is very yin. It's very animated because it's not like a uniform pattern and also it is in contrast with like the backdrop of the dress. This sort of a dress would be so so cute um, because it did have a like ruching or like a gather around the chest area which would honor some curves in that space um, and honor some softness in that space as well as it cinched kind of right in that um, midriff kind of rib cage area so that's why I thought okay yeah soft gamine would look really good in this. Consider your own body and your own frame when listening to these recommendations. Not as like extreme as maybe a romantic would need or as extreme as um, even like a soft natural might need but like it cinched in just enough to honor that curve that a soft gamine would probably have. So yeah, that's why I picked this dress. I thought it would work really well and be really versatile because you can layer with it, you could tuck it into pants and call it a shirt, you could do so much with something like this. And I actually belted it because I just wanted it to kind of have a break at my smallest point there and have a little bit more interest. The first layering look that I did was with this bigger, um, boxier kind of a denim jacket. That's exactly what it is. <laughs> I liked this jacket a lot. I definitely needed to roll the sleeves, which I think I do later in the video. But yeah, I thought that this provided a lot of contrast. It was in a lighter denim, which is good for yin leaning types to wear pieces that visually don't have a heaviness to them. Gamines still have a bit more density to their bone structure because they're not pure yin. They're yin leaning, but they still have yang in their bones and in their bone structure. They still need structure within their outfits as well. So something like a light wash denim could be something that's denim yang leaning, yang extreme, and then lighter visual weight um, would be more yin leaning and so you have that mixture of opposites. Soft gamines are still gamines at the end of the day and so we do need to have a mixture of extremes within your outfit and a quick and easy way to do that is just to find garments that feel like those extremes on their own. That's why I picked this denim. It's oversized, it's really big. It might actually work better if it were cropped and it had um and it were like not so oversized. I think that I think this just provides enough juxtaposition because the dress is so yin leaning because it's so short and it has that waist emphasis and it has that floral detail to it. So those things together I think this would look really cute on a soft gamine um, who wanted a bit more of an edgy style. Okay here's another layering look that I tried. <laughs> I found this um, shirt and I thought that it looked so cute. Like the details about this shirt underneath um, make it really harmonious for a soft gamine, I would say. It's still a structured shirt. It's not too billowy. It's not too soft or cascady. Like, it still maintains its shape, which is, I think, really important for gamines, is to wear clothes that keep their structure. But it has these little yin-leaning details, like the ruffle around a structured collar, like that small ruffle. Um, if you look closely, you can see that it has like little teeny out, like cutouts or like eyelets or something like that. I, I'm trying, I'm struggling to find the word. But it has these little eyelet flowers that are in there that are really cute and small and dainty. And so I feel like wearing something like this dress over top a more structured but round, small, delicate details um, works really well for a soft gamine. Like I think that the shoulders are really something that could be really flattering. The way that the wrist of it is still very fitted and um, exact around the wrist area, like the cuff but you can um, push it up so that it has like a nice three-quarter length, a nice cropped length as well, and have an exact 
meeting at the shoulder and an exact meeting at the wrist, but then some structure in between. I think that's really flattering for gamines in general. And so as a soft gamine, you'd want to do rounded details in between the structured lines. If you're a uh, flamboyant gamine, you might want to do something that feels a little bit sharper, a little bit more um, angular. Anyway, this could look really beautiful with tights underneath and then some really structured boots underneath. I think that would make a really fun juxtaposition in all of that. You see what I'm doing? You see what I'm trying to create here? I wanted to create a really complex layered look and so following similar ideas with the puffed sleeve vibe. I found this sweater here that has kind of a puffy sleeve detail. I threw on some ripped denim that's a little bit cropped. It's a straight leg. Have that structure once again, but cinch the waist, providing a little bit of waist definition, which soft gamines really do need to honor some curves and things like that. Um, I love ripped denim for gamines because it has that almost tomboyish effect, that um, kind of youthful effect as well as providing a bit of asymmetry. I wanted to pair <laughs> this kind of simple beigey sweater with the rounded puffed shoulders with a bit of animation around the face. When in doubt, have some sort of contrast in the neck area, some sort of, like you can put a lot of your yin leaning details like right here. Since I'm creating soft gamine looks, I went for this floral shirt underneath. It has like a small floral pattern once again in contrast with a dark background. That's another juxtaposition there. Um, and having that right by the face I think creates a really cool juxtaposition. And this is kind of a, this feels really casual. Like I think if you were a classic type and you put on all of this, it might feel overwhelming. It might feel like you're trying really hard, but this feels like just enough detail for a casual, soft gamine, everyday kind of a look. Like I would get coffee in this. I would go to the library. I would run errands in this and feel really good as a soft gamine. So the last piece that I wanted to try was a skirt. I know a lot of you talked about skirts. I wanted to go for a midi length skirt with some flow to it in a dark color because the texture of the fabric creates some yin detail um, and then the dark color of it creates the yang weight and there's still movement so it is still a yin leaning piece to me. It's not super pleated, it's not high detail, it's just a really simple black skirt, kind of a piece that anybody could use. And so here's how I would style it for gamines in general and especially for soft gamines. So the first way I did it was with a denim tank top. This top actually had a tie in the front but the shirt was actually a little bit too big for me so the tie didn't create the same effect as it would have if I actually fit the shirt, but um, I buttoned it all the way up to create a nice high neckline with some angularity there. The buttons are small and contrasting to the fabric, um, so they create a nice little detail in the middle there. I loved that the pocket was asymmetrical because there was only one of them to the side and it wasn't two pockets, so that gives it a little bit of asymmetry. And then I tucked it in to create some waist definition, which soft gamines need. This outfit actually looked really good on me. I liked it a lot. It's kind of towing the line a little bit of, yeah, it's probably more yin leaning, especially depending on how you accessorize it and what shoes that you choose to wear, what bag you go with, those sorts of things um, to complete the entire look. But this just as a like basic structure of an outfit like I think feels very yin to me but we still have a typical gamine structure of short line on top long line on bottom you're dealing with two different extremes there um, structured um, dense top with flowy skirt 
you're dealing with mixtures of opposites there. And I think that any soft gaming would look really good in this, especially if you pair it with something like maybe a cute pair of ankle booties or a rounded and small crossbody bag that could look really beautiful. Maybe something with a bit of shimmer to it, maybe something that had, um, you know, small rounded details like a like, polka dot bag but yeah I liked that combo and then the last combo with the skirt I brought back the denim jacket but just wore a simple and plain shirt underneath as you can see there it has a high and rounded neckline it has the high contrast elements it is pretty form-fitting I would say that's this particular shirt, the waist emphasis and all of that, and then I added a bit of structure by wearing the light wash denim on top, and I just think that looks really good, and I think any soft gamin could wear that. You could put some nice ballet flats on with this, you know, wear a statement necklace with something like this, just all of those sorts of things. Like, get creative with how you accessorize and really complete the outfits, but this is a good structure, I think, for any soft gamine. You could look really good in this, and it would honor any sort of softness in your frame, any curves, while still honoring that, like, sharp, sometimes really, like, dense or heaviness that you might feel from your yang extremes that are within your body. So what did you think of this video? Did you find this a little bit more helpful? So just notice what you notice. Um, pick up on the things that you like, the things that make you feel really good when you put them on, and then notice why that piece might make you feel good. What is it emphasizing within your frame? What energy rises up in you? What sort of I don't know, what brings you some sort of delight when you put it on. So that's just some of my general advice for pieces that I wouldn't necessarily pick as a flamboyant gamine, but that would definitely work on a soft gamine. This is what I mean when I say looking for those finishing touch details that are rounded or flowy or delicate or have like a lighter feeling to them, not so heavy or dense. Um, this is what I mean when I'm talking about those things in the last video, and it is, it really does make quite a difference when you see me in my flamboyant gamine outfit at the beginning before I'm like trying on the clothes, and when you see me in more soft gamine outfit. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm like glitching now. Mercury's in retrograde. Mercury's in retrograde. All right, thank you so much for watching this video. Thanks for hanging out with me. I do want to invite you to follow me on Instagram and hang out with me over there. I post my outfits every single day in that space. Also, if you're curious about your own body type, I do offer some body typing consultations. I have two different levels depending on what you need. And obviously both of those things are going to have a body image focus, a mental health aspect to them. It's a gentle encouragement to love yourself and express yourself fully through the ways that you dress and adorn your precious body. If you liked this video and you found it helpful, if it brought you some clarification, if it made something click in your brain, definitely let me know in the comments. I hope you have a great day or week or <laughs> weekend or whenever you're watching this video and I will talk to you very, very soon. Bye.